Gochik Truth Be Told and Fede Souza, thank you for joining me here on the Boom Live uh, social media handles. We take a look at everything that you need to know on this conversation. And today we're looking at a very interesting story about the Vande Bharat mission. Remember, this is the mission that was meant to evacuate migrant workers in other countries. Indian workers who are trapped in parts of the Gulf, in Saudi Arabia, in other parts of the world, they were meant to be flown home through this mission. Now, it turns out, according to a story written by uh, the journalists at LEAD, that the price of tickets on this service has actually been doubled recently. In joining me right now, senior journalist Sandhya Ravi Shankar out of Chennai, whose organization has uh, reported on this story. Sandhya, thank you for joining us. Could you tell us exactly where this information is coming from? I managed to speak to a number of migrant workers who have been laid off from their jobs and uh, they have exhausted a lot of their savings and uh, they pretty much have nothing left except to come back home. And uh, one of the migrant laborers who spoke to him had in fact um, spoken to a bunch of charity organizations uh, you know, and uh, the social activists and managed to gather 50,000 for his uh, Air India flight back home as part of the one day Bharat mission. But out of the blue, he gets an email from Air India stating that uh, the airfare has more than doubled. So now he has to go out and uh, find another 18,000 rupees. And he has no idea how he's going to find it. And this is a story for Oman, for Muslim, Saudi Arabia as well. So uh, it's quite a frightening and situation that migrant workers from India are in. Uh, and um, Sandhya, what, if, what are these workers now saying? If they can't afford the fare at this point and they aren't able to earn in the locations where they are, what happens to them now? Well, they're, they're stuck here. I mean, um, they're living in camps and uh, the Indian Embassy has some shelters. Um, the Indian Embassy is providing food to some few employers are uh, providing food to some of their workers. But by and large, it's a really, really sad state of affairs in most of the Gulf countries, and we've been writing about this and putting this out in the public domain for quite, quite some time now. And uh, well, a number of them have, in fact, um, had employees who sent them back on chartered flights, and uh, these chartered flights have actually turned out to be cheaper per head than the current Air India um, airfare, which has uh, recently been revised for phase C of the Monday Bharat mission. So, it's, uh, it really boggles the mind. Why would uh, the Indian government do this to poor, uh, you know, migrant workers or poor policy workers? Hopefully, they earn much and they're really, really struggling with poor cases on the rise in the government. There's also a part of the story where you talk about, your colleague talks about the fact that there are a dozen chartered flights available from Oman that are actually cheaper than what the government is offering right now. Is that true? That's true. And uh, it's uh, it's very very sad state of affairs because um, the Air India flights from Oman, Muscat, and Saudi Arabia specifically are more expensive than uh, um, booking a seat on a chartered flight and flying to India. Um, um, I, I also have to tell you one more thing that when I tweeted this story out, um, Air India uh, decided to respond saying that uh, we have not uh, increased, uh, we have not revised the airfare uh, to and from the UAE. And uh, this is a sort of very vague response because the, the story never speaks, uh, never spoke about the UAE We were talking about Oman, Muscat, and uh, Saudi Arabia airfare. And uh, so then I responded to India saying, Can you clarify on this? Because we never spoke about the UAE airfare. And uh, there has been no response. Well, um, Sandhya, so obviously, obviously, this. This Vande Bharat mission was meant to evacuate people from other parts of the country. It's really just turning into a facility for people who can afford to travel already, isn't it? That's what it looks like right now. It's a whole bunch of people have come back on the uh, Vande Bharat uh, mission flights. In fact, I think uh, around uh, 65,000 Indians have been brought back home so far in 354 flights. And um, now we're entering phase of the Monday Bharat mission, which is another 300 flights uh, which, are being, which are being planned. But there are a large number of poor migrant workers who are, who are being left behind. And uh, uh, the prices of fare upwards, more than doubling it, and that's why Air India, the government's uh, national carrier, 
you know, it's I really don't see how fair it is and uh, what the government really is thinking about, uh, you know, in, as far as doing such a thing. All right, uh, Sandhya Ravishankar, the journalist joining us out of Chennai. Thank you, Sandhya, for uh, coming in and giving us details on that story. Remember, um, keep watching Truth Be Told, and if you have any questions, leave them for us at the bottom of this video. Thanks for watching.